Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions or potential actions for the near future. As always, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest for Cancer. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help the channel a lot. And um, yeah, let's get into this for Cancer Spirit. How does this person that Cancer is dealing with, what are their thoughts or feelings about Cancer? Let's start with them. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their thoughts or feelings towards this connection spirit? Okay, we got the buffalo. Buffalo is um, someone that's very steady, grounded, um, isn't afraid to um, go on a path and face challenges. They face them head on. A lot of courage with the buffalo. Um, very calm, serene energy as well. So your person might be thinking that there might be obstacles in your connection, but either they're willing to face them head on or they know that you will. Very steady, very grounded, like I said. They might view you in this way, Cancer. Tell me more about Cancer's person. What are their thoughts or feelings, Spirit? Ooh, raccoon. Something here is not being communicated or expressed or um, someone might be wearing a mask out of fear, hiding something out of fear or doubt. Hmm. So there's something here that your person either hasn't told you or isn't being honest with you about, or they might feel like they're not sure how you feel. Maybe you're hard to read or vice versa. All right, so tell me about cancer. What are cancers, thoughts, or feelings towards this person or this connection? Cancer's energies, please. Oh, yeah, you definitely have something to say, cancer. We have the golden egg here. This is a spiritual card. Speaking your truth, essentially. Tell me more for Cancer. That is way too many. What are Cancer's energy and spirit? I don't know what's going on with my shuffle right now. This one, yeah, lamb. It's all about um, a, a message, a message from someone or somewhere you don't expect. Um, this is like a message from a stranger or a sign from someone. Um, something, something an, is an important message. So I feel like you have something very important to say, Cancer. Now I'm putting your person on this side and you on this side. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more, but to avoid confusion, this is you for me. There's something that you really need to say. So let's get into it. Let's get into the tarot here for Cancer Spirit. Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time, I can never fully shuffle these. My hands are not big enough. Okay. Let's start with your person. Tell me about Cancer's person, Spirit. What do we need to know? Oh, okay. Seven of Swords reverse, all right. Starting off with that, okay. <laughs> Let me move this over. Have a little bit more room here. So this is something, I feel like your person's hiding something. Um, maybe they're not being upfront about how they feel with you, or there's something that they're not saying. Could be um, something that you catch them doing or they might catch you doing something. Whoa. What else do we need to know about Cancer's person? This is something coming out. This is something that, you know, it doesn't stay hidden for long. What else for Cancer's person? Queen of Wands reverse. Hmm. Queen of Wands reverse, um, tend to be very fiery energies, 
um, they crave attention, they don't really think about the consequences of their actions. They kind of just think of, you know, the fun that they're having. What else for Cancer's person? The Hierophant. Is your person in a commitment? Either you're in a commitment with this person or this person's in a commitment. Um, if it's not that, we'll see when I clarify. If it's not that, it's that your person really follows the rules, very steady, very grounded like this buffalo. But um, I find it weird that that would be the case when they're not really behaving the best way right now. Okay, what about you, Cancer? Tell me about Cancer. Can you tell me about Cancer? You have one card, please, not three or four. Cancer, please. Okay, there's that eight of wands. You definitely have something to say, Cancer. Communication is very important on your end here. Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles. So this is in regards to a strong connection here. Something that you are, you could be holding back um, from this person, uh, or you could be um, like holding on to something that you value. We'll see which one it is. Tell me about what's going on. The mutual energies here. Mutual energies and this connection spirit. The mutual energies here. Between Cancer and this person. Six of Wands. What else for Cancer? What are the mutual energies here between these two? Queen of Cups. A lot of emotions here. Deep feelings for each other. Um, but I don't think it's being communicated. Perhaps someone is um, difficult to deal with, but you still have a lot of love for them as well. So let's break this down. Let me clarify these energies for Cancer, please. For Cancer, help me clarify these energies, please. Let's start with the Six of Wands. It's all about success, victory, recognition, being recognized for your efforts. What's the Six of Wands doing here? The sun, okay. Happiness, celebration, good news. Maybe someone's bringing you good news. Maybe uh, this relationship is a happy one, a successful one, or has the potential to be. And then there's the 10 of wands. There's some sort of burden here. Perhaps somebody really cares about how they're seen or recognized or viewed. Um, perhaps someone here is carrying a lot of responsibilities. I have the lovers reversed at the bottom. There could have been a separation or um, someone is um, made a wrong choice and they have a lot of baggage because of that or are carrying a burden because of their wrong choice here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. About the Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups reversed. Something here was very heartbreaking, very disappointing between you. There's a lot of love still. Let's see, tell me more about this Queen of Cups.
three of wands. Perhaps somebody is waiting for things to improve. Waiting with expectation, with hope that there's going to be a new beginning, a new cycle here. So even though there's been a lot of disappointment and difficulty between you, you're still waiting for, like, waiting with hope. So let's see, what happened here? Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse here, Spirit? Ah, five of Swords. Someone wasn't playing fair. Someone was deceptive, possibly here. Wearing a mask. This is your person. There was an unfair advantage here. They tried to possibly manipulate the situation here. They, all they cared about is winning, and instead they lost something more important. Let's see. Tell me about this Seven of Swords reverse, please. King of Cups reverse. So now we have a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups. Um, one upright, one reverse. You're not seeing eye to eye with this person. This person, I feel like, is a very emotionally manipulative person. Um, they're off, uh, emotionally off balance. Maybe on the outside they appear to be straight and narrow is what I just heard, but that's not the case. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. So it's almost like there's um, there's a long-term commitment here, some, something to do with stability, with um, security, but emotionally and when it comes to communication, there's something off. Tell me about this Queen of Wands reverse. We have two queens here. What's this Queen of Wands reversed about for Cancer? Well, whatever it is, there's deception and heartbreak having to do with this Queen of Wands reverse. Um, perhaps this Queen of Wands reverse is how someone is approaching a situation and all they're causing is um, disappointment and heartbreak. Um, the Page of Swords reverse is also someone that does not know how to communicate very well. Um, so it could be that someone just doesn't know how to express themselves or is outright not telling the full story here. Not telling, not, not doing things like how they're supposed to. Once again, Page of Wands reverse. Someone that something, this is the Page of Wands reverse is someone that starts something and never finishes it. They, you can't really count on them. Tell me about the Hierophant. What is this about? Seven of Wands reversed, not Seven of Wands reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Um, so this is something here that is um, not a good investment. Something's not panning out here. Tell me about the Hierophant. Someone is probably thinking that they wasted their time or put in all this effort for nothing. Tell me about the Hierophant. It's way too many. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. And Virgo energy with the Hermit. So someone's withdrawn because something's not really working out like they thought it was going to work out in a commitment. Tell me about the Hierophant. Uh, I just heard that for some of you, this person's single but separated. I mean, married but separated. Tell me about the higher font. That's for a small number of you. Yeah, something here is not working out. Um, there's someone's wondering if there's even any hope or faith left in this connection or for this connection. Um, if this person's married, which I think they might be, or in a long-term commitment, then um, it's not working out very well. If this is a commitment with you, there's something that's not working with this person. Um, maybe on the outside, it appears to be a good commitment or a good, a good uh, successful partnership, but um, there's a lot of baggage and uh, something that's very heavy in this connection. 
So what do you have to say to this person? Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Remember, feel free to flip this if it resonates more. It could go um, the other way. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. The Moon Reverse. So something here is coming to light. You're opening up. Something's being communicated. Pisces energy with the Moon. An expression of how you feel, an apology possibly here. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands, please. Wow, Six of Swords. You might be communicating that you are leaving a situation, moving, traveling. Um, there could be a long distance connection for some of you. Uh, something's coming to light here on your end. You're going to be communicating something that someone's not going to be expecting from you. You might be uh, transitioning or heading to someone to offer them a cup of love and it's going to be kind of surprising. Tell me about this Two of Cups. This is a very strong partnership, the Two of Cups. This is like your other half. Knight of Swords Reverse. What is going on, Cancer? Knight of Swords Reverse. Someone very blunt, very brutal with the truth. Sometimes they twist the truth as well. They could be uh, very uh, moving a little too fast. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Wow, yeah, this is something here that's not, there's either outright deception or terrible communication. Can I get one more with the Two of Cups? For those of you that are wondering about uh, astrological signs, there's everybody here. We have water, air, um, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo. Tell me one more for this Two of Cups. Ten of Cups. What is going on? See what I'm saying? It's like someone here looks like, it looks like a very happy partnership, a very happy family. But there's like bad communication or outright deception here. Um, some of you, I feel like you are in a connection, but you are in love with someone else or interested in someone else. And so you're playing a part. That's for a small number of you. Tell me about this four. So you're both playing a game is what I'm seeing here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. What's this Four of Pentacles about? Ace of Pentacles reversed. We got an Ace of Cups reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is like your beginning is either very delayed or not happening at all. You're holding back, I feel because something is not there's an opportunity that never came there is financial difficulty possibly um, an opportunity that is over and so you don't want to give any more to this let's see tell me more uh, about this four of pentacles I'll take this one. queen of swords reverse my goodness Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. I'm also getting the, the, the sense that it's like, this is someone that's very emotionally closed off. 
the magician reverse eight of cups reverse so again you have um something here that's not being manifested that's not working with the magician reverse you could be dealing with a manipulative energy because the queen of swords reverse can be very manipulative and then the eight of cups reverse so this could be someone that's trying to delay you from moving forward or you could be waiting for someone to return to you but more than anything i think it's just you wanting to have a new beginning and you're going to be delayed by someone possibly this queen of swords reverse energy i feel like you're dealing with someone very difficult here it could be this person or someone else but um There's something here going on that's just off. And it's like their success queen of cups. Someone wants to be successful with a queen of cups or there's a lot of emotion here, a lot of um, love. But then at the same time, there's an ace of cups reversed, 10 of wands. Something here is heavy, uh, emotional baggage, emotional uh, imbalance. And then I have the sun, so it's almost like smiling on the outside, appearing happy, um, wanting to be happy, but there's a burden, waiting with expectation, but there's emotional imbalance. So there's something off here. I really hope this person isn't married, but I think they are, or in a long-term commitment. There, that commitment was a waste of time. That commitment's not working out, possibly due to this person's own actions. They could have had someone else on the side because the Queen of Cups, uh, Queen of um, Wands reverse could do that. King of Cups reverse manipulative energy, not balanced emotionally, not doing the right thing here. This is someone that's not doing the right thing. Very um, tricky, shifty energy here. And then over here, I have I have you dealing with someone terrible as well. 